Second half begins, tech at the front again. I'm Darren, and this is Three Things for Tuesday, July the 2nd. Many new laws are now in effect for California. Here are some of them. Date rape testing kits in California bars, finding hidden fees, security deposit limits, gun purchase excise taxes, credit card ID codes for gun retailers, DIY phone fixes, menstrual products requirements, and more. Just look them up. Many times, what happens in California will be attempted in many other states. Boeing spun off Spirit Aero Systems in 2009 and is now buying it for just under $5 billion. Set to close the deal in 2025, Boeing says they can be on the same page now as the company which has been supplying their 737 fuselages. In a 6-3 decision, the Supreme Court has ruled in favor of former President Trump by saying that he is immune from criminal prosecution of events while in office but not from private matters. This makes a court case highly unlikely now before the elections. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. I want to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat. Apples and bananas. Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Boredom Busters. Caroline writes, July is National Anti-Boredom Month and was created in the 1980s by Alan Karuba to stop people from moping around because of boredom after the Independence Day holiday and before Labor Day. July's oppressive heat forces people indoors and children have not returned to school yet, so finding fun things to do can sometimes be challenging. Often, boredom is not more than just having nothing to do. It's about the activities at hand failing to engage us mentally. Here are some fantastic ideas to keep your mind and body engaged all month long. Find a local trail and spend the day exploring. Bring a picnic and make a day of it. Or whether it's your backyard or a national park, camping is a great way to break the monotony. Just make sure you pay attention to the temperatures and stay safe in the heat. While it's so hot outside, check into group fitness classes at your local gym. Many offer classes such as yoga, Zumba, water aerobics, and spinning. If you're staying at home, put on your favorite music and dance around your living room while cleaning. It's a fun way to get moving and lift up your spirits. Tap into your artistic side this month. Creating something new can be incredibly satisfying and a great way to pass the time. From knitting and painting to making jewelry, the options are endless. You can use what you make in your home or at work, or you can gift it to a friend or family member. Learning something new can be both challenging and rewarding. There are countless online platforms offering courses on just about anything. Whether you want to learn a new language, pick up a musical instrument, or jump into coding, there's a course for you. If there's a topic you want to learn more about, find a documentary or read a book about it. You can also try out new recipes or baking techniques. Remember the sourdough trend during COVID? Not only will you learn something new, but you'll also get to enjoy some delicious food. While learning something new engages your mind, don't forget about the other brain workouts such as working jigsaw puzzles, crossword puzzles, solving sudokus, and playing board games. If you want to get out of the house, visiting a local museum is a great way to get in some steps and appreciate the arts. Spending time with friends and family can be one of the best ways to stave off boredom. Try hosting a game night with board games, card games, or even video games or pick a movie you all want to watch. Come up with a menu that goes with the movie's theme and make it a potluck. Even something as simple as taking a popsicle to your neighbor can lift up their mood. Giving back to your community can be incredibly fulfilling. Find local volunteer opportunities and spend your time helping others. Local libraries, food banks, and summer programs for children are great places to start. National Anti-Boredom Month is not just about avoiding boredom, but also about appreciating it. Experts suggest that boredom allows our minds to wander, which can lead to creativity and new insights. So while you're exploring all the activities and possibilities this July, remember that a little boredom isn't necessarily a bad thing. It might just be the pause you need to spark your next big idea. Boredom is just an opportunity waiting to be explored. Stop watching Start Living Using Pips, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Why was the basketball court all wet? Because the players kept dribbling on it. <laughs> the dad joke. Corny, grown worthy, but also one of the simplest ways to share a moment with your kids. What did the buffalo say when he dropped his son off for school? Bye, son. <laughs> so take a moment to make your kid laugh because dad jokes rule. 
Make your kid laugh today. Go to fatherhood.gov. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services and the Ad Council. Pip's Pick of the Day. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible uptrend for First Foundation, Inc., and that is ticker FFWM. They are headquartered in Dallas, Texas, and they're a bank holding which engages in the provision of a comprehensive platform of financial services to individuals, businesses, and organizations. Their current price is around $6.50, 52-week high of $11.47, 52-week low of $3.69. This one has a decent range of possibilities and could run up $0.50 cents to $1.50 if it breaks through our mean line. The other possibility is back down to the upper fives. Probability is for an upward movement, however. We are not financial advisors. We provide an algorithmic AI bot service, and please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.